Now that the detectors are built in, it's time to close the fridge and prepare it uh, for a cool down. We recorded this um, not in real time because it's a quite a lengthy process. So the first step is you install this golden part. That's a shield that's kept at 4 Kelvin. This is to keep black body radiation from the environment away from the very cold part. You see this is like screwed together carefully. Um, and now this aluminum can that comes on top of it uh, is supposed to block out um, like even more radiation. So this golden part is at 4 Kelvin and the aluminum part will be at about 50 Kelvin. It's a two-stage uh, cooling system and uh, the trick is to avoid as much black body radiation from the outside to come in and, and you basically have a, a set of shells that are set at different temperatures. So uh, the very last shell is, is this red bucket uh, they're preparing here. The red bucket itself is at room temperature and forms the outside shell of this cryostat. And um, it also uh, acts as a, as a uh, isolation for keeping the whole cryostat evacuated because in order to avoid thermal contact through gas uh, you know, connecting between the different um, shells, you, you have to evacuate that whole refrigerator. And that red shell is basically the vacuum uh, envelope that, that keeps the air out. Um, this cryostat is, is of a particular type, so you can first mount all kind of uh, instruments in there. And once it's mounted, it, it's turned around and uh, uh, the head of this, uh, of this contraption um, is pointing then in the other direction. So they're soon going to flip it over and prepare it uh, for connection to this helium uh, pump. So you see what's now at the bottom is the uh, head of this helium cooler. It's now moving to the top and they soon will collect, uh, connect the, uh, the vacuum pipe or the, the high pressure helium uh, pipe. And uh, that was the end of this time lapse. And uh, uh, feel free to ask questions what exactly happened.